Today I want to show you the easiest way that you can paint with earth pigments. We will make paint with three different natural binders, so you can choose what suits you best. For two of those binders we need an egg. We are going to separate the egg yolk from the egg white. Both can be used as a binder. Our third binder option is soy milk. Now you are going to need some soft rocks from outside that we can use the pigment from. You can test whether a rock is soft enough by scratching it against a harder rock surface. We are looking for rocks that will immediately leave colored pigment on the harder stone, like this one. If it only leaves white scratch marks, the rock is too hard for us to use. Now, if you don't have a hammer, you can keep scratching the soft rock above a bowl to catch the pigment dust. This is a lot of work though. So if you do have a hammer, I suggest you use it to make your life easier. Wear safety goggles though, or put a piece of cloth on top of the rocks while you are crushing them, so your eyes don't get hurt by flying bits of stones. Let's start with making some swatches, so you can see the effect of the different binders and choose your favorite one. If you don't have an egg or soy milk at home right now, you can also mix the pigment with water. However, be aware that the pigment won't stay on the paper when you touch it after it has dried. Notice how the color of the pigment looks different with every binder. While soy milk will give you very fluid paint, egg white and egg yolk will make your paint thicker. All three of them will also give you a different sheen when they have dried. Soy milk will leave you with a matte finish, egg white with a satin and the egg yolk has a glossy finish. You can also use dirt and sand to paint with. I decided to paint today with orange pigment that I made from a chunk of brickstone I have found outside, as well as some brown dirt. I personally prefer very fluid paint and the matte finish, so I will go with the soy milk as a binder. I wet the surface with soy milk before I start painting. 